it's a pretty fair question to ask why anyone would want to own stocks at all after a month in which stocks drop over 30 percent. You see uh, these kind of violent market swoons at given times. You see an asset class that in inherently possesses a lot of volatility. And I can understand why someone would want to question owning stocks as an asset class. Ironically, the very issues that force the question are at the bottom of the answer. Foundationally, the argument for stock ownership is, in fact, the return premium that one gets from the risk that they carry. These types of moments that have happened, not very often, but are uh, kind of repeated throughout history at various intervals, create what we call the risk premium and, and represent the sort of torturous pain investors have to deal with every so often for the long term significant, and I don't mean understated, I mean significant premium to risk-free investments that ownership of equities represents. Now, another distinction I would make at the Bonson Group, and this is very important, is that we really don't want to think of it as owning stocks. We want to think of it as owning companies. Those companies, when they are publicly traded, are manifested in the ownership of stock, the stock market, obviously, it's shares in a company. Therefore, you're subject to the volatility of sentiment, the volatility that comes with what other people may be doing. But when you stay focused on the long-term profit-making capacity of a well-run company and their ability to share dividends from those profits with you, the investor, the long-term results speak for themselves. That's a conversation we want to have with you. Follow up at thebonsongroup.com.